after six whole years of living in the US, the question of all questions is, do I think in English now or still in German? Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Feli. I'm originally from Munich, Germany, but I've been living here in Cincinnati, Ohio, on and off since 2016. And today I'm going to start a new series on my channel called Ask a German. Okay, those of you who've been watching my channel for a while know that it's not completely new because I have released many Ask a German videos in the past, but they were never really like a regular series. And that was mainly due to the fact that they were usually pretty long and also took a lot of work on my end, either because I was trying to answer as many questions as possible in one video or because the questions were pretty complex to answer and actually required a lot of research, like this one about why do we call it Deutschland instead of Germany? or is there still a divide between East and West Germany? But I get so many questions from you guys in the comments and in my DMs all the time. And obviously when I respond to them individually, it only helps that one person. So I do wanna make room for answering your guys' questions on my channel, which is why I decided to make Ask a German a regular category. And to make this a realistic goal this time, I'll stick to answering one question per video and I'll keep them pretty simple. So this category will mostly be me sitting down with you and just talking to you one-on-one. -on -one. The questions can be either directed at me personally, like the one today, or they can be questions that you have for Germans in general. And today I'll start with one of the most common questions that I get a lot in my comments and DMs that I have answered before, like here and there, but I never made a dedicated video. So today is the day that we're gonna make this dedicated video and answer it once and for all. And the question is, do I think in German and then translate everything in my head to say it in English? Or do I think in English? And similar to that, do I dream in English or in German? And when was the first time I dreamed in English? Let's talk about the first question first. And the answer is, no, I don't think in English. But I also don't think in German. I feel like I don't think in any language. I just think in concepts, if that makes sense. And I'm sure this works differently for every single one. Like every person, every brain, every mind is differently, obviously. But um, at least for me, I don't usually have like a little voice in my head that's putting all of my thoughts into words. Maybe that's also why I talk so fast. I don't know, I'm being told that I talk fast a lot, but I feel like my thoughts are like much faster than I could ever speak or think them in words or put them in, in a sentence, if that makes sense. And also with English and German, since I'm fluent in both languages, I don't usually remember what language I watched a movie in, for example, or even what language I had a conversation in. Like with Josh, for example, my friend who you guys know from some of my videos and also from the Understanding Train Station podcast that we do together, we are both fluent in both languages. And when we're hanging out and there's other people around, we usually just switch languages depending on who joins the conversation if it's just the two of us, we usually speak German. If another person comes into the conversation, we'll just automatically switch to English. Like there isn't even a transition. It's just like, whoop, go over to English. And we've had these situations before where like afterwards we're thinking, wait, did we just have the conversation in the living room in English or in German? Just because like we weren't sure if this other person was able to understand us or we're like, hey Ben, didn't you hear us talk about so-and-so? And Ben's like, uh, no, you spoke in German. And we're like, oh yeah, that's right, oops. <laughs> I feel like the only exceptions to this are like when a movie has a super catchy line or something and I'll remember it in the language because like the wording is important and I'll be like oh yeah I've seen this movie in this language or I remember oh I watched this in the movie theater in Germany then you know I'll obviously remember the context but usually I, my brain doesn't really make a difference there. And it's honestly the same with dreaming for me too. I know that for many people who are learning a second language or are maybe even living abroad, the first time that they have a dream in that other language is usually a huge moment for them. Like they'll wake up in the morning and they'll be like, oh my God, I just had my first dream in English. But I just, I never had that moment. And I do actually dream a lot, or I should say I remember my dreams a lot. And I do have pretty wild dreams, but I just don't usually remember specific dialogue. Like I'll know what was said, I'll know the content of what was said, but I wouldn't really know which language it was in. So like, maybe I do dream in a language and I just don't remember that part. And I don't know if then like, characters that show up in my dreams, like German characters suddenly speak English to me or American characters suddenly speak German. I don't know, I, I don't remember those parts. I just know 
the content of what was said. Now, obviously every person is different and every person thinks differently and their brains work differently. And I know that a lot of people do really hear like almost like a little voice in their head. Like they do hear their thoughts spoken out in a language. So that would actually be super interesting for me to read. Maybe you can just put it in the comments. What is it like for you guys? Do you hear a voice or do you kind of think in concepts like, I described it for myself, even though that's probably not even the best description. It's really hard to describe your thoughts. But yeah, I guess to answer the question, I know it might be kind of disappointing to hear, but I guess my answer is that I don't really think or dream in any language. However, and now I have to go back to the very first question again, in regards to whether I think in German and then have to translate everything into English in my head before I say it out loud, that I do not do. So I guess I do think in English to a certain extent then. But it's still not like I hear my thoughts in English before I say them. It's more like I have an English mode and a German mode when talking. At least that's kind of what it feels like. And depending on which mode I'm in, that kind of influences the way that I approach the way that I express things. Like if my brain is in English mode and I start speaking German, it sometimes happens that I'll start a sentence and halfway through I'll realize that that sentence structure doesn't even work in German. Or I'll use expressions that are pretty common in English, but sound kind of odd in German, like something like the printer comes with a free app. And then I'll say in German, der Drucker kommt mit einer kostenlosen App, instead of saying, bei dem Drucker ist eine kostenlose App dabei, which would be much more common to say in German, if that makes sense. Or one thing that's actually happened a lot is that I'll speak German and I'll say something like, wie hoch ist deine Rente? Instead of saying, wie hoch ist deine Miete? Because Miete in English is rent and my brain is just like saying the cognate word Rente instead of Miete, but Rente in German actually means pension. I don't know, I feel like this is only like understandable for people who speak both German and English, but maybe you can kind of follow what I'm trying to say. And of course the same thing also happens the other way around when I am in German mode and speak English. It probably happens even more because English isn't my native language. But for example, like two weeks ago when I came back from Germany and I started speaking English for the first time, I noticed that like my brain just wants to form these German sentence structures and yeah, just like use German expressions that don't really work in English. I'll also usually notice that my brain is in German mode when I accidentally throw in filler words like also, okay, genau, um, in German, even though it's an English conversation. So I'm talking to Ben, for example, and I'll just like in the middle of the conversation suddenly say also, blah, 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 or genau, blah, 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 which just means like, so, ha ha ha, or exactly, blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's something where I can tell, oh, okay, for some reason my brain wants to like say things in German or sometimes when I'm tired, that happens too. But then again, it also happens that sometimes when I'm in Germany and I'm kind of tired or I'm talking about a topic that I experienced in the US in English, like I had this experience in English that my brain will like automatically keep going into English even though I'm speaking German and I'll put in English filler words like, like, like the, the filler word like, um, and I'll say it in a German sentence and it just makes me sound very douchey and pretentious and I get like really embarrassed when that happens. So let me know in the comments below what your experience is with this topic. If you think with a voice, without a voice, which language do you dream in, which language do you think in, etc. I'm very interested in that. And also let me know which question you want me to answer next week. Just put your questions in the comments underneath this video and add the hashtag ask a German so that I can find it more easily because I'm probably just gonna go through filter it by hashtag and then look through those questions and maybe you can even go through the other people's questions and like the ones that you'd be interested in as well that way i know which questions are the most popular ones and then i'll just start with those ones thank you guys so much for watching if you like what i do on my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel for free you can also activate the notification bell to get notified about new uploads from me you can also support me by hitting the super thanks button underneath the video or by joining my patreon community or by buying me a coffee on ko-fi.com and of course also so make sure that you follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. I've been pretty active on those platforms recently. There's always extra content and some interesting discussions sometimes in my Instagram stories, where like recently I talked about the whole Czech topic again, and then people messaged me all of their comments and opinions on the topic, and then I'll share those into the story again, and so on. It's kind of an interesting like little community thing as well. So make sure that you join that little social media community too, if you haven't done so yet. And with that, I hope I'll see you over there or here on YouTube for my next video. Tschüss!